Morning ladies and gentlemen, I love that awesome little grill. I had some uh, breakfast sandwiches, it's amazing. Um, today we're going for a little bit of a treat. Uh, Ole has worked really hard on the boat, we've done a lot of good work, but uh, he's only here for a couple more days, so we decided we're doing a little sightseeing. I haven't been back to Victoria in like three years, or two years, or something like that, and he's never been, so we're gonna go check Victoria out today, as well as uh, collect a few more supplies for the boat and get ready to take ownership of that new little sailboat. I'm so excited about that. 500 bucks, best 500 bucks I ever spent. Well, we made it to Victoria. It's actually pretty damn close. Like, like this is closer to me than going to Vancouver is. But I haven't gone yet, so I don't know. It feels a bit weird to be back in the city for a bit. I don't, I'm, I'm not sure I like it. I've gotten used to the Gabriola Island life. So this is Victoria, British Columbia. It is the capital of BC. It's a short ferry run across from uh, Seattle, basically. A little boat ride over to Seattle. It's kind of in the same area. It's the lowest part, the southernmost part of British Columbia. And it's one of the older cities on the west coast. So it's got a bit of that old Canada vibe, a little bit of that British connection. More reminiscent of some of the other older cities that we go to across Canada. A lot less like Vancouver a lot more like Montreal or Quebec City. After checking out the harbor front, we went over to uh, one of the more beautiful churches in the area. Check out some of the historical architecture there. And of course, can't leave Victoria without seeing a little bit of nautical history too. Oh, you thought wrong, man. Canes, we are all about blowing stuff up. All right, speaking of blowing stuff up, our last stop of the day, we're at uh, Fort Rod. And I came here mostly because there's a really cool lighthouse and I wanted to see it. Um, you know, I've seen a lot of lighthouses on the East Coast, but I haven't really seen too many on the West Coast, so why not? We're tourists today, taking it off, just enjoying it. So yeah, this is Fort Rod Hill and the Fisgard Lighthouse. Check it out. Through the generations from 1878 all the way up to post Second World War 1956. Originally part of like the British Empire's series of fortifications, it then came into play in World War II, um, protecting from a potential Japanese attack. So it's 
been through many, many generations. The lighthouse itself, though, is pretty interesting. It's actually the first Canadian lighthouse on the West Coast. So, pretty rad. That's a naval upload for sure. Right across the uh, pond over here, staring over at Washington, the Olympic Park. It's absolutely, absolutely gorgeous. I really can't wait to sail these waters. I gotta say the temptation to bring me a little $500 boat pretty far, it's pretty great. I wanna just kinda like set sail tomorrow and just head off. But uh, everything in its due course, We've got a lot of work to do. Luckily, I think with this new boat, you know, it won't be work on the boat, it'll be work on me learning to sail. And I'll continue to work on the boat. So I'm, I'm excited to burn the candle at both ends coming up real soon. Speaking of, as gorgeous as this view is, it's time for us to head back to uh, Gary Briola, get a couple chores done on our way. Hey? Eh? Eh. Yep. After the smoke break. After this Well, it looks like I've got another dead point on my mic. It works interspicy here and there, but um, we had a great time today riding around and seeing Victoria and uh, getting a little bit of a break from uh, the boat for a bit. We'll be heading right back into her tomorrow. So thanks for watching guys and uh, I'll see you tomorrow.